Feels good so far. Yeah, I tried to do like that entry and yeah, scary. <laughs> yeah, it's like mild chunking, but you're using a lot of the tire right now. Okay. Which is good. Oh, nice. I think I'm gonna just try and do entry. I might just try to do entry a few times and see. Do whatever, man. All right, I'm gonna try to do entry like here and here. Sure. No, you're good. Just yeah, go for it. How's it looking? I think it, uh, it, it's like split it, off. It's good, but, uh, is it cutting? It's good, but uh, let me put a zip tie in that. Oh, yeah, yeah.
Third gear. Is fine, yeah. It's really fun. Just like if you lift on transition, it's a little sketchy. If I lift it, it unlocks the diff. Yeah, so yeah, I have yeah. to kind of so force it. Keep it up, and like, yeah. it does this weird like to force that I really have to kind of like give it some time. Mm -hmm. So it's just like I'm like shocking the car. It feels really weird. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Diff next then, right? We have it already. Yeah, just sitting. <laughs> Long to just test out the suspension stuff first, but yeah. Dude, it looks good. It looks good. Okay. Here's a look. Uh, we're getting some kind of fluid, dude. Yeah, it's leaking. My caliber. Dude. Oh, there is, huh? On the yeah. tire. Hey, how do your brakes feel right now? Fine. Uh, sure? Okay. Yeah. Okay, fine. fuck it. Blood in the blood it in the solves. Fine. It just feels like stock brakes, honestly. Okay. There's definitely some fluid. But What's that? There's some fluid. Some fluid where? Here. I'll, I'll figure it out. Oh, on the front? Maybe yeah. I hit something, dude. I was, I was like banging all kinds of shit up there. Yeah, yeah I know. Yeah, maybe you hit like a... Yeah. I, mean, I, just, I was, uh... Well, I checked it last night and, uh... I just want to make sure the... As much angle as he's getting, yeah. that the uh, um, the brake line mm. has sufficient travel, and it does. It's fine. Okay. Uh, I just want it, but uh, it might just be one of the bleeders, to be honest with you. These things fucking. Let's go check it out. Today is because it's getting hot. Mm. Mm. Um, they're just fucking weird. Yeah. Have you run into the steering issue we're looking for yet? Uh, mm. The whole steering issue that everyone mentions? No, not yet. Maybe it just still trying to feel it out that I can't like really dial in that feeling yet. Yeah. But um, if anything, it almost it's weird because I think it was supposed to like stiffen up and go faster. But yeah, it is once I initiate it, the steering does actually feel like a little bit extra light. Maybe, maybe because I'm slamming on my brakes like on the e-brake and stuff. So maybe my wheel speeds are just all over the place. I don't know. I don't know how it works. But has it has it been annoying yet? No, it feels it actually feels like good. Okay. Yeah, it feels totally fine. Well, I mean, we won't have to address it until it becomes an issue. Yeah. So, that's fine. Should we look into this, you think? Or? Uh, yeah, maybe. Okay. Yeah. Oh, the tire cool down. Yep, anyway. <laughs>
for the next for, for the next round. Made it to the top eight. <laughs> Apple Valley Speedway Drift yeah. competition. Yeah, no big deal. We, we pretty just serious. Work here pretty serious competition. You. We're just yeah. media support. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah. And food. <laughs> yeah. No, we brought you your food. Yeah. Just making sure you're okay and well fed. <laughs> Appreciate yeah. it, guys. Well, the food healthy, is, healthy food. The food is too. eight hours old, but it, yeah, it's, it's healthy though, because you know you have to eat very yeah, healthy sure if you're a race car driver yeah, or something. For the stamina. Yeah, it's for stamina. The endurance. Because you can't get the Hershey squirts when you're driving. The what? Hershey squirt. What the fuck is a Hershey squirt? Wait, what? I'm coming back. <laughs> what is squirting? The brown stuff. Hershey squirt? You know, sometimes like you poop a little bit. Oh. Yeah. That's never happened to me. Oh, you're so aggressive to driving that the little poop comes out. Uh, it's really common in drifting. Mm -hmm. Joey would know. I've never Hershey pooped drifter. while I was drifting. Yeah, yeah no, everyone. It's a, it's a very known factor. Everyone just yeah. all, all the all the best drivers yeah, use squirt diapers when they drive because it's just that crazy. Yeah. Yeah. I kind of can't tell right. you're kidding. Bye. <laughs> yeah. I've done uh, three cars. Like, the full, like, your four of it. <laughs> that's just fucking insane. I mean, the Milwaukee shit fucking works, dude. Alright, plan eight. I love oh, hammers. Yeah? yeah? You, you have one in your car. Yeah, I do. <laughs> yeah, I have one in my pants. <laughs> so, um, we took the car out for testing um, at Apple Valley Speedway, or Range, whatever people want to call it these days. It's actually called Apple Valley Speedway now, right? Yeah. And uh, it got too dark, couldn't film anything really, so I wish we had more footage. But good thing we have the car back here now, and uh, it's all in one piece still for the most part. Definitely in one piece. <laughs> <laughs> and made then, it there, we made it back, and made it to dinner. Oh, yeah, we had dinner, and then you even drove it to work a few days. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I just wish we were able to get more footage, but it was just so dark out there and there's no lights and shit. But now we can kind of get an idea of where the car stands in terms of how you feel about it. Yeah, um, I guess first track test with it was very much a success. Yeah. Uh, I kind of already, like, so, like we said in the last one, we were just wanting to feel out mainly the suspension changes and the knuckles. Mm. Um, so we didn't want to change the LSD yet, we didn't want to change the clutch yet, but just really feel out the suspension. Yeah. And anything suspension related worked out great. Yeah, so. and when you didn't even run into the steering issue that we were trying to hit, right? Yeah, the whole... Uh, it's either I don't, didn't run into it, or I'm just so like rusty and just... I mean, or, it has nothing to do with wheel speed, right? Did you not pick up enough speed for that issue to come about? I don't know. That's the thing, like, you know, it's like, it's supposed to affect it as you go faster, but I felt like there were... There were points where as I felt like I was probably going fast enough mm -hmm. to uh, sudden sudden speed changes where I felt... But you didn't get any of the snappiness that you were expecting? No, mm -hmm. no, not at all actually. Actually it was oddly confident to say it. Yeah. The faster, the faster I went, like the, the car, I told myself, was it that entry, that main, the third gear entry mm -hmm. on the main straight? If I get comfortable enough, I'd like to try it and that was probably the most comfortable part with this car versus the rest of the infield. Yeah, I mean, what's next? Um, well, I guess just driving it on track, the mm. biggest thing I think I was fighting um, was trying to keep that stock uh, torsion diff locked up. Yeah. Yeah, the stock LSD does nothing for drifting. Mm. Um, even compared to like any other torsion drift diff that I've driven, like I did a few laps in Sarah's car and her car is torsed and diff and mm -hmm. that car had no problem keeping the tire spinning, keeping it out. Yeah, the IS300. Yeah, so fighting the grip or fighting the LSD and then fighting a ton of grip. Mm -hmm. So uh, when we got it aligned, uh, it's about seven and a half degrees of camber in front, like five and 5.8 degrees of negative camber in the back. Yeah. Um, even with all that camber and 225s all around, um, dude, the car just grips like crazy. Yeah, because so, I mean the car just like meant for it, right? So I, I guess so. Yeah. Um, so like it grips like crazy. Trying to drive like a high revving, low torque NA from from my last car being a turbo car. Hmm. A little bit different. Uh, Wait, what was the last car? The last car would be the Turbo NB. Turbo NB. Oh, okay. But even the one before that, the FRS was mm -hmm. still like had no problem keeping like a tire size like this spinning. Yeah. So, um, I think once that LSD is in, that should make a huge difference on the driving. Mm. 
Um, I, was, I saw like a little bit of the in-car and I could see like all the the sloppiness and rust. <laughs> <laughs> oh, from Sarah's video. Yeah, yeah, that was like, oh Jesus. Yeah. But I guess that was also like, you know, like one of the first laps out. Mm -hmm. But um, that definitely just watching that, I was like, okay, I can see where there are possible issues. Yeah. Um, not even like the clutch kicking to try to keep it in. I was almost just dumping the clutch mm -hmm. and it still wasn't doing much. Um, I even put, what I noticed actually was really weird is like when I put these ones on, I had noticeably more grip with these ones versus the last wheels. Oh, really? Um, so the other wheels are eight inch wide. Mm -hmm. These ones are eight and a half inch wide, the same size tire. Um, so the difference, huh? Which is weird. I've, I've never really noticed, but like it was noticeably different that that having that little bit more stretch actually somehow gained, it actually did gain more mechanical grip. Oh. So I was thinking about even going down to a smaller size tire, like a 205, mm -hmm. but then a 205 stretch. We're saying, especially with the amount of camber I already have, yeah. it might already, it might just end up being, being even more grippy. So That's true. Yeah. yeah. So next, so next is the, we have the clutch going in, right? Yeah, clutch and, and uh, will be diff. next before the next event. But we're trying to find another diff so that we don't have to keep switching them out. Yeah, because we have a few car a few cars that are going to be doing S2000 dips in. Mm -hmm. And just limits downtime. That way the car can still be, I guess, drivable and just swap the pumpkin out once the actual diff is in. Yeah. Um, so yeah. So you have a Cause LSD and yep. what kind of clips do you have? I think it's a, it's a ATS one, I think. Uh, yeah. Oh wait, it's, it's a, the one that's over there. It's the one it? that's over there, yeah. You, you saw found it on Yahoo Auctions. It's yeah, used, but it's over it's, there should be good. It should be good. Yes. You can see the fender has pulled itself and split a little bit more. Yeah. It was already messed up previously, but... I mean, just in case people are wondering, this car is going to be repainted once everything is dialed in. It's just current point in time, we're just trying to destroy it so we can figure out the mechanical side of things. Yeah, you can actually see the metal reinforcements now that, that were on, mm. on the inside of it because it's all shaved. Yeah, the brackets that Utah made for it. Yeah, so keeps everything on the car and at least looking cool. While it's and the brakes felt fine, right? Yeah, yeah, the brakes did great. Yeah. Um, this is a product of Utah's work also. And the e-brake was one of the biggest things. I think that worked out really good. Yeah. It locked up every single time. Like, I think having that confidence in having a working handbrake. Oh, her gloves. <laughs> <laughs> right here, your little spin bike handle thing. Yeah. <laughs> It worked out good, but like every time I kept going, I was like, I think it's getting higher. I'm like, I think I'm stretching it. Yeah. No, I'm just killing the rear pads, actually. Yeah. Oh, we probably need to change those then. Yeah. Yeah, everything, I mean, everything inside, nothing's going to change with that. So. But you had a good time overall, you think? Yeah. yeah. Satisfactory? Um, or more than satisfactory? More than satisfactory. I miss drifting so much. Yeah. I can't wait to just keep going out more. And... I keep getting comments on YouTube about how amazing driver you are and how the Midwest misses you. Oh, really? Yeah. I mean, I don't know about the amazing driver, but I'm glad <laughs> they miss me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I miss them also, so. Yeah, but there's, I mean, California is California. Yeah. They can. There's no going back now. No. I mean, yeah, I moved out here. I don't plan on ever going back. <laughs> and I figure people go on vacation. A lot of times they end up here, so it works out. Yeah, it would be cool to do some street drifting in Chicago with this thing, though. I think I think it will. Yeah. It'll, it'll make it out there. Thank <laughs> you.